All right, Rachel, thanks. A rare flying insect found in Fayetteville and forgotten for a decade before being rediscovered. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker spoke to the former PhD student at the University of Arkansas who found it. This rare Jurassic era flying insect is called a giant lacewing. It all started with a quick trip to a Fayetteville Walmart for Michael Scarvala in 2012. As I walked into the store, there was a large insect on the brickwork uh, next to the door. And I was interested in antlions at the time and thought, that looks like an antlion. So I just picked it up between my fingers. Scarvala says he walked through the store with the bug in between his fingers, got what they needed, and his wife drove them home while he was still holding the bug. And when I got home, I uh, killed it in a kill jar, which is pretty standard for entomology. It's just a jar with like acetone to kill the insects. Um, pinned it up, spread the wings out nice so you can see all the characters, and then put it in my insect collection and forgot about it for 10 years. This was when he was a PhD student at the University of Arkansas. Now he's an assistant research professor and the director of the Insect Identification Lab at Penn State. He was teaching an insect diversity, biodiversity, and taxonomy class over Zoom in November 2020, showing his students insects from his own collection under a microscope. When he quickly realized what he thought was an antlion was indeed not. Put the specimen aside for about 10 minutes, finished teaching class for the day, and then got it back out. They watched me work it out over Zoom, made the discovery there and then in front of them that this was an insect that wasn't ever recorded in Arkansas before. In fact, the giant lacewing hadn't been recorded in the eastern U.S. in 50 years. He wrote a paper about his discovery, knowing it was going to be exciting for fellow entomologists, but he had no idea it was going to get the attention he's seeing now. And really heartening uh, because so much of the time dealing in the, in the with the ID lab, People are coming to me with pest insects. How do I kill this thing? How do I get rid of it? And, and it's just really nice to see people excited about something because it's exciting and not a pest. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Now, he thinks there could be a reproducing population of the giant lacewing in the Ozarks, but there's also the possibility the insect was on a truck from out west and ended up at that Fayetteville Walmart.